leaving warm sunshine in an oasis was pretty tough, but this time I already had an idea of where I was headed off to. Crossed the border of Nevada and back into California, away to some sites that I had really been looking forward to. And some insane weather as well. I swear, Julia has the patience of a saint because I am the worst person to travel with. I take forever to do everything. Like, everything just takes so damn long with me. So there's no Starbucks around, but that's totally fine. There's this really cute coffee place that's nearby, so I'm super excited to try it. And they have like breakfast sandwiches and stuff, so let's do it. The small trek to the lake started as any other. Coffee, gas, water, and skating in the middle of the road. I got a muffin and a vanilla latte. Oh, oh yeah, I told them extra vanilla. Of course, the journey to this spot wasn't without bumps in the road, literally. <laughs> Don't die. The spot we were gonna go to, the road was really sketch, and the review said people with two-wheel drive made it up, so we were like, this cannot be the right way, because we cannot make it up this road. The sand is too soft, and maybe old me would have done it, but new me that's been stuck way too many times will not do it. So we found another way to go. So we're gonna go that way right now. <laughs> So we got back in our vans and headed to our new spot for the week. Or so I thought. So the spot that we were going to is blocked off and that's lovely. We're on this really tiny road. After backing out around a couple curves on top of a mountain, we found a spot not too far off that still had an incredible view. Backing out around a corner right now. On lots of corners. The weather forecast called for rain and storms, but to my surprise, the giant rain cloud in the sky moved past with minimal rain. We took the nice day as an opportunity to drive into town, get more coffee, take a shower, and go to the bookstore. Okay, so I'm just prepping my car to leave. Ignore my hair. We're going to take a shower today. I forgot to film this, but I usually just put stuff that's sitting on my countertops in this crate and just makes it so much easier and more organized than throwing everything on the floor. These little stops into town are honestly really important, at least to me. It makes you feel a little bit more connected to society rather than being a gremlin in the middle of nowhere, not taking a shower for a week straight. The next day, we took advantage of the shining sun and walked down to the lake.
only to be run out by the rain. Apparently a thunderstorm going on. Loud. Loud thunder. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there's a there's a big thunderstorm going on right now. Very loud thunder. We had second guesses about how safe being on top of a mountain during a thunderstorm is. There was lots of Googling about if it's safe to be on top of a mountain during a lightning and thunderstorm. The consensus was no, it's not safe. We made the executive decision to drive down the mountain just to get a little bit lower, only for the worst of the storm to pass within 15 minutes. We made our way back up and decided we'd be okay for the week, rain or shine or hail. It's cold outside and it's been raining and thundering all day, but my heater is on, which is wonderful. It feels warm and the plan right now is to make sweet potato fries on my cast iron skillet because I don't have an oven. So let's see how this turns out. So I didn't really know what I was doing here, but my plan was to just fry them basically in a bunch of oil. I know that is not healthy at all, but um, yeah, don't judge me. Okay, they turned out okay. And then it was really nice weather again. And nice weather equals walks. found this really pretty viewpoint. Well, this is actually the road that we were supposed to go up and camp at, but it's blocked off. So I came up here with Athena and it's so gorgeous. I'm not even at the real spot. This is just one of the spots on the way. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy to be here right now. I accidentally sat in a little puddle of water on the rock and now my butt's wet. There's a ton of deer around here and Athena's going bonkers. She goes absolutely insane. And here's where I just came from. And then our spot is down over there.